Today, I want to show you how to mix a range of tones in watercolour. I like to use a syringe to gauge the amount of water I put into each mix. I'm blending a purple from cobalt blue and alizarin crimson in a clear glass, so I can see the opacity of the paint as well as making sure it's evenly dispersed. Always try to add the colour which is stronger in tinting strength to the weaker colour. Test to see if more colour is needed. Here we have three glasses, each with 10 millilitres of paint. I'm going to dilute the second glass with 10 millilitres of water and the third with 20. So now we have three sets of paint, all the same colour, just three different tones from dark to light. So this is the lightest wash. If compared with this area of white paper, we now clearly have two separate tones, white and our lightest wash. My work surface here is tilted at about 30 degrees. Once dry, I'm laying down the second medium wash, which is darker than the first. So now, including the white of the paper, we have three tonal values. Again, it's dry, and I'm adding the darkest tone as the third wash. We now have, including the white, three clear tones showing. I've only used three tones here, but it's possible to use more. As we have saturated the paper with paint, it can't absorb any more, yet we can still see the luminosity of the paper showing through. With watercolour, we generally apply a darker colour to a lighter one, so each application is covering less of the paper. It's not so much about the paper I'm painting on, but the areas I'm leaving behind. So with the white as a tonal value of zero, the first wash one, the second wash two, and the final wash at three, we have created a total variation in tone of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Watercolour is above all about tone, contrast and using the white of the paper. I hope you'll be able to apply this method to your own work.